In this video, how to fix the error, the extension was turned off because it's no longer supported on Google Chrome. You encounter this issue because Chrome no longer supports manifest version 2 extensions starting from Chrome version 140. However, you can still re-enable it until Chrome version 142. First, close all open Chrome windows. Search for the Google Chrome app. Right-click and select Open File Location. This will navigate to the Chrome Shortcuts location. Right-click on the shortcut and select Properties. Add this at the end of the target after the quote mark, with a space between them. The target will look like this. Click Continue to save the changes. From now on, when Chrome launches, the extension Manifest V2 will be enabled automatically. As you can see, the extensions will be reactivated automatically. You might see a warning that the extension may soon no longer be supported, but for now, it still works. Additionally, using this method, you can install all other MV2 extensions as well. Alternatively, if the first method doesn't work, you can try a second method to enable Manifest V2 support in Google Chrome and then sideload extensions manually from the source code or a zip file. To do this, open the Chrome Flags page. Search for M1 and enable all unexpired flags. Once enabled, relaunch Chrome to apply the changes. Next, search for MV2 and enable the Allow Legacy Extension Manifest Versions option. Relaunch Chrome one more time. Now, download the source code of the extension. For example, I will download and install the uBlock Origin extension. Extract the downloaded zip file to a folder. Next, open the extension management page and enable developer mode. This mode allows you to install extensions from an unpacked folder instead of the Chrome Web Store. As you can see, the extension has been installed successfully. In some cases, you may be unable to download the zip file of the extension because the developer has not provided a direct source code download. You can use an additional extension to download the zip file from the Chrome Web Store. For instance, I will use this extension. Once added, you can use the installed extension to download the zip file for the needed extension. Once downloaded, you can extract and sideload the unpacked extension as usual.
The downloader extension is no longer needed, so you can remove it as well. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next videos.